Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. In this one, I'm just gonna show you how you can paint on digital colors to your traditional artwork. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that helps me out so much. And of course, hit the like button and make sure you switch notifications on for future content. I'll also stick links below to my social media pages in case you wanna check out more of my art. The first thing we're gonna do is just prep our photograph. So if you've scanned this in, yours will probably already be fine to go straight ahead and paint on. If like me, you've taken a photo and you want to keep your background in the image, so for example, this wooden effect I've got here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a selection tool. You might have to right click on this in the top left corner. I prefer using the quick selection tool. And what this does is it allows me just to literally click and drag over my image to select the area. Now this works best if your photograph is quite clean and consistently lit. Once I've got that bit selected, I'm gonna hit Control and J on my keyboard. What that does is it creates a new layer with just that page on. And from here, first of all, I'm gonna press Control and U because I want to remove any color from this because it's a slightly off white. So I'm gonna drag this saturation slider all the way to the left. It's quite a subtle difference. If I remove the layer, you can see it there. Actually, it's probably not as subtle as I'm thinking. Oh, I do actually have a more detailed video on removing yellow lights and similar imperfections from your photos. So I will put a link to that in the corner of the screen and in the description box below. But once we've done that, you're gonna hit Control and L on your keyboard to bring up your levels. Again, I do have a video going into more detail on using this. But in summary, this right hand slider, dragging this towards the middle will up your whites. So you can see how much of an effect that has on the page. But if you go too far, you will lose some of the detail like so. So you need to find a nice balance getting the page as white as you can. And what I find is best is then dragging the slider on the left hand side here towards the middle, which increases the darks or the blacks on the screen. So make sure you spend a little bit of time getting this how you want it to look. So I just played around with that a bit off camera until I was happy with it. So until my page is fully white with black line art, then all we need to do is simply create a new layer, change that layer mode to multiply, select your color and your brush as you would normally when it comes to painting, and then you can just color that on, like so. And there you have it, it's as easy as that. But there is a downside to this, and that is that you have to work pretty much on one layer for your painting or your coloring. So for example, if I create a new layer and set that to multiply mode, you can actually paint on any white areas, so as long as there's no overlapping that works fine. But if I go over this red, you can see how it really does multiply the colour. So you will end up with a very dark effect. So you would either have to make sure you leave some areas below white where you don't want any overlapping. Or another method, instead of working on one layer, is you can actually separate your line art and keep that above so that you can have as many layers as you want. I won't go into detail how to do that now, I do have a video on that. Again, I'll stick links in the corner of the video and in the description box below, so check that out if you prefer to work on multiple layers. And now I'm just gonna add some color to mine, how I want it to look. This is actually a ballpoint sketch that I recorded the other day. Uh, it's from the new Elden Ring video game. So if you wanna watch me draw that, make sure you check out that video. I'll put links up again for that. And of course, you can check out the finished piece on my social media pages. But aside from that, guys, I think we're done. So if you did find this video useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, press the thumbs up and switch notifications on for future content. Of course, leave me a comment below and let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see next. But yeah, we're done. Thanks so much for watching everyone.